You think creating digital products is hard? What if I told you it's not and that you could design one today using just Canva and no experience at all? You don't need to be a pro and you definitely don't need to overthink it. You just need the right steps. In this video, I'll show you how to create your own digital product using Canva even if you're just getting started. We'll go over how to choose what to create, how to design it the right way, how to prepare it for download, and how to get it ready for your audience. I'll also be giving you a list of some of the most profitable digital products you can create and sell, plus some important tips to help you avoid beginner mistakes. And yes, I'll even show you where to sell your product, not just Etsy, so make sure you watch till the end so you don't miss out on any part of the process. Let's get started. Okay, real quick, yes, I know I'm not the usual face you see around here, but don't worry, you're still in the right place. Our regular host couldn't be here today, so I'll be taking you through this one. Before you jump into Canva, the first step is deciding what digital product to create. Don't overcomplicate this part, just ask yourself a few key questions. What do I already know? What topics do I enjoy? What problems can I help someone solve? You want to create something that not only you enjoy making, but that people are actually looking for. And here's a simple trick. Head over to a platform like Etsy and start searching. Type in keywords like planner, printable, worksheet, or template. Look at what's selling, what keeps popping up, and what customers are saying in reviews. That's a good sign of demand. Also, ask yourself, can this product offer value? Can it help someone save time, stay organized, learn something new, or solve a small but real problem in their life? That's the kind of product people are more likely to buy. Remember, you're not creating just anything. You're creating something Thing with a purpose, and once you get clear on that, the rest becomes easier. Now that you've decided what kind of digital product you want to create, it's time to actually start building it. To begin, head to the link in the description where I've left access to Canva. You can sign up for a free account and start creating right away. Canva does offer a free plan that gives you access to a lot of templates and design tools, but keep in mind, some of their best features are available only on the pro plan. So, depending on how far you want to take your designs, it might be worth upgrading later on. Once you're on Canva's homepage, you'll notice a tab on the top left corner called Create. This is where you'll go if you want to start designing your product from scratch. After clicking Create, go ahead and click Custom Size. You can then set your preferred dimensions based on pixels, inches, millimeters, or centimeters, whichever works best for your product. This is perfect if you already know the exact size you need, like 8.5 by 11 inches for a printable planner or worksheet. Now, if you don't want to start from scratch, Canva also gives you access to thousands of ready-made templates that you can use as a starting point. Just make sure that when you're using any of Canva's templates, you customize them to make them your own. It's important that you don't use any template exactly as it is, change up the fonts, adjust the layout, switch the colors, and add or remove elements so that your product reflects your own style. This not only helps your product stand out, but it's also good practice when it comes to Canva. Canva's rules for commercial use. Always check the usage rights and ensure you've modified the design enough so it's considered your original work, especially if you plan to sell it. Now, if you're feeling stuck or unsure where to start, Canva also has an AI writing assistant that can help you outline and plan your digital product similar to how ChatGPT works. Right from the Canva homepage, you'll see the Canva AI tab. Click on that and then choose Draft a Doc. This tool allows you to describe the type of digital product you want to create, and Canva AI will generate content ideas or even draft a rough structure for you. Whether you're creating a planner, an ebook, or any type of digital product, you can type in your request, and Canva AI will list out the sections or content to help guide your design. It's a great way to save time, brainstorm ideas, or overcome creative blocks when you're not sure how to begin. Once you've either selected a template or opened a blank page to start from scratch, you'll be taken straight into the Canva editor. This is where all the design happens. On the left-hand side of your screen, you'll see the main design tools, things like text, elements, uploads, photos, and more. Each of these sections opens up a wide range of resources you can add to your page. For example, if you click on text, you'll see options to add a heading, subheading, or body text. Simply click and it will appear on your page, ready for you to move, resize, or edit. You can change the font, size, color, spacing, alignment, and more using the toolbar at the top of the editor. The Elements section gives you access to things like lines, shapes, illustrations, icons, and even charts. 
You can use these to decorate or organize your pages. To move anything around, just click on it and drag it where you want. You can also resize by dragging the corners, rotate by using the rotate handle, and right-click to duplicate or delete. And don't worry, Canva also gives you alignment guides as you move items around, helping you keep everything neat and well-placed. You can also zoom in and out of your design using the bottom right corner and switch between pages if your product has more than one. Everything is drag and drop and super easy to adjust, even if this is your first First time using Canva. So take your time here, get comfortable exploring the tools, and just start building your layout one piece at a time. If your digital product is going to have more than one page, which most of them usually do, you can easily add new pages by clicking on the Add Page button just below your current design. Every time you click it, a blank new page will be added. You can also duplicate a page by clicking the little duplicate icon if you want to keep the same layout and just change the content. As you add more pages, it's important to stay organized. Keep your fonts, colors, and spacing consistent across all pages. This makes your product look professional and easier to use. For example, if you've used a heading font size of 28 on one page, don't suddenly switch to 35 on the next page unless there's a good reason. If you've chosen a certain color for your headings or icons, stick with it throughout unless you're using a pattern or theme that allows some variation. You also want to make sure the spacing between your elements, like between a title and a paragraph, graph or an image and a line is balanced and equal across pages. Canva helps you with this by showing you alignment lines, which make it easy to match the placement of elements from page to page. You can even use the position tool found at the top of the editor to align objects perfectly to the center, top, or sides. And if your product requires a specific flow, like page one should introduce something, page two continues it, and so on, make sure your pages are in the correct order. You can drag and drop the pages in the right sequence from the page overview below your design. All of these little things help give your digital product a clean, professional finish that people will appreciate. Before we move any further, here are some important design tips you need to know, especially if you've never created a digital product before. These are small things, but they make a huge difference in how professional your product looks and help you avoid beginner mistakes that could turn people away from buying. Start by using clean, readable fonts. Avoid fonts that are too fancy or hard to to read. Stick to simple modern styles for both headings and body text, so your product is easy to understand at a glance. If your product is going to be printed, remember to leave enough margin space around the edges of the page. Don't place text or images too close to the borders because they may get cut off during printing. Also, avoid overcrowding the page. Give your content enough space to breathe. Don't cram too much text or too many visual elements onto one page. Clean, well-spaced layouts always look more professional. When adding visual elements, like icons, lines, shapes, illustrations, or images, use them wisely. They can make your product more engaging, but too many can make your pages feel messy or overwhelming. Keep everything balanced. Pay attention to alignment and spacing. Make sure everything is lined up properly and evenly spaced. Canva has built-in guides and snapping tools. Use those to your advantage to keep things neat. Your color choices also matter. Choose two to three main colors that work well together. Avoid bright, clashing colors that can be distracting. Acting. You want your product to feel calm, cohesive, and visually appealing. And finally, stay consistent across all your pages. Use the same fonts, colors, and layout styles throughout your entire product to give it a polished and unified look. These may seem like small things, but they really add up, and they're the difference between a product that feels rushed and one that looks professional, clean, and ready to sell. Once you're done designing your digital product and everything looks the way you want it to, the next step is saving and downloading your file. Canva automatically saves your work in real time, so you don't have to worry about losing your progress. But when it comes to downloading, you'll want to choose the right file type depending on what kind of product you've created. To download your design, simply click the share button at the top right corner of the screen and then select download. You'll see a few file format options like PDF, PNG, JPG, and SVG. If your digital product is meant to be printed, like a printable planner, workbook, or journal, go for the PDF print option. This gives you the highest quality, and it also allows you to include bleed and crop marks if needed. If it's a digital product that will be viewed on a screen, like a digital ebook or guide, then PDF Standard is the better choice since it's lighter in size and faster to download. For products that need a transparent background, like digital stickers or certain overlays, PNG is ideal, and you can check the transparent background box. For simple flat images, JPG works well. And if you're working 
working on something that may need to be resized without losing quality, like icons, logos, or editable vector files, SVG format is also available and useful depending on what the product is intended for. Now, aside from downloading your product, Canva also gives you the option to share your design as a template link or as a view-only link. Sharing as a template allows the person receiving it to customize their own version without affecting your original design, while view-only links are perfect if you just want them to see what you've made without giving editing access. These options come in handy, especially if you're offering editable templates or demo previews to your customers. Before you go ahead and deliver or sell your product, it's important to make sure your product presentation is polished and professional. This includes how everything is arranged and packaged. If you're offering multiple pages or separate files, consider organizing them neatly into folders, clearly labeled, and easy for your customer to understand. Think about the way you present your product just like branding. It's part of what makes your digital product feel high quality. Ensure that your fonts are readable, your design is balanced, colors are consistent, and nothing looks cluttered. Little things like naming your files properly, making a cover page or product preview, or adding simple usage instructions can really elevate how your customer experiences your product. All of this matters, especially if you're planning to sell or deliver your product on a platform. Before we move on, I've put together something really helpful to support you on your digital product journey. It's called the Digital Product Toolkit, and it's designed to guide you from the creation stage all the way to uploading and promoting your product. It's an all-in-one resource created to make the entire process easier, smoother, and more organized for you. You can download it using the link in the description below. When it comes to selling your digital product, yes, Etsy is a popular platform that many people already know about, but it's definitely not the only option out there. You can also choose platforms like Gumroad and Payhip, which are beginner-friendly and offer a smooth setup process. And right now, you'll see a few more places listed on the screen that you can explore as well, so you can decide which platform fits your needs best. Now, earlier, I mentioned that I'd share with you some of the most profitable types of digital products. And I want to break each of them down briefly so you can start thinking about which one you might want to create. Let's start with ebooks. These are great if you have knowledge or a story to share, whether it's a how to guide, a motivational piece, or even a mini handbook in your area of expertise. Ebooks continue to sell well because people love learning in a simple, downloadable format. Next up, we have bundles. These are simply themed sets of related digital products packaged together. For example, instead of just selling a single planner page or one set of invitation cards, you can create an entire bundle, like a wedding planning kit or a seasonal holiday design pack. Bundles not only add value for your customer, but they also allow you to price your product higher while offering more. Then there are courses. If you're good at explaining concepts or teaching skills, Online courses are a powerful way to turn your knowledge into income. These could be video lessons, PDF guides, or even a mix of formats, depending on how you prefer to deliver your content. Another popular one is templates. These save people time, and that's why they're in high demand. From resume templates to Instagram post layouts, planners, checklists, or lead magnets, templates help people get a polished, ready-to-use result without starting from scratch. And finally, we have challenges. These are fun, structured digital products where people follow a daily or weekly task to achieve a goal, like a 7-day self-care challenge or a 30-day fitness tracker. They're super engaging and work well in communities, newsletters, and niche audiences that love guided motivation. Now, just because I've highlighted these particular digital products doesn't mean that others aren't profitable. There are so many types of digital products out there, and many of them can still bring in consistent income. These are just a few to get you thinking in the right direction. The truth is, profit Profitability doesn't only come down to what you're selling, it also depends on how you're selling it, how much value your product delivers, and the way you package or present it. Some digital products naturally allow you to charge more, like courses or well-curated bundles, especially when they're presented in a high-quality or results-driven way. So while these examples can be very profitable, don't limit yourself. With the right strategy, almost any digital product can earn you a solid income online. Now that you've seen the kinds of digital products that 
that can be incredibly profitable, let's talk about how to choose the right one to start with. Because this isn't about forcing you to begin with any of the profitable examples we've already mentioned. In fact, it's not even about picking what's trending or what seems popular. It's about understanding you, your skills, your interests, your strengths, and starting with something you know you can create and deliver confidently. So instead of asking, what makes the most money? Ask yourself, what can I actually create right now that would provide value to someone else? Maybe you're good at designing things in Canva and that could lead you to creating templates. Or maybe you're naturally organized and creating checklists or trackers feels like second nature. Or perhaps you enjoy fun, creative projects, and coloring pages or activity sheets sound exciting to make. The point is, it has to make sense for you. Start with something that's realistic for you to complete, not something too big and overwhelming. If you can only manage a simple one-page printable right now, that's perfectly fine. Start where you are. The goal is to create something valuable and get it out there. You can always grow and improve from there. Also, think about the kind of effort you're able to put in versus the value your product will bring. Some products take more time but can be priced higher, while others are simpler and sell at a lower price. It all depends on how you package it and how useful it is to the person buying it. And remember, the examples I gave earlier, those were just to give you you inspiration. It doesn't mean the other digital products out there aren't profitable. They absolutely are. I just picked a few to highlight, but there are so many more options you can explore. Profitability often comes down to how valuable your product is, how well it solves a problem, and how you're marketing and presenting it. So don't limit yourself. Choose what works best for you and start there. And here's a tip. Don't get stuck trying to make your digital product perfect. Done is better than perfect. The most important thing is to start and complete something. You can always improve or upgrade your product later based on feedback or your own growth. But for now, give yourself permission to keep it simple. Also, remember to stick to one product at a time. Don't try to create 10 products at once. It'll only slow you down and overwhelm you. Choose one, work on it with intention, and get it ready for the next step. Now, before we wrap this up, I really want to take a moment to encourage you, especially if you've been holding back or feeling unsure about where to start. Listen, every success successful digital product seller you've ever seen, they all started somewhere. They all had that moment where they had no clue what they were doing, but they chose to take the first step anyway. You don't need everything figured out right now. You don't need to have the perfect product or the perfect niche or a hundred ideas. All you need is to take action on one idea, just one. And that first step could lead you to more than you can imagine. It's okay if it feels scary. It's okay if it feels uncertain, but don't let those feelings stop you. Your idea matters. Your product can help someone and you deserve to show up for yourself and create something that could change your life over time. So start messy, start small, start unsure, but please start. And just before you go, don't forget, I've put together a helpful resource for you that goes hand in hand with everything we've talked about today. It's designed to support you as you take action and get started. You'll find the link to download it right below this video in the description. So be sure to check that out when you're done watching. If you found this video helpful, make sure to hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already so you never miss any of the helpful content I've got coming your way. And hey, if you've got any questions or you just want to share your thoughts, I'd love to hear from you down in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. I'm rooting for you and I can't wait to see what you create.